the day. Two more bodies, unfortunately, dead. My daughter is still dead. The God State Governor should help me. I was here. Yes. I just saw the first building coming down. Da, da, da. Ah. How can a building that's supposed to be for 15 going 21 and still counting? We didn't even know where it's going or you know what the plan is. We at 21 it was at the time that it collapsed. You get it? It's, it's crazy the way things are done here. And we had, you know, it was closed that was shut down twice. Things that just happen, we talk about it for a short while and we move on. Is, is that the way life is supposed to be patterned? Guys, I'll be right back so we could talk about this properly, you know, and touch some, you know, areas of the things we are not getting right and what we need to do to get it right so that things like this will not keep, you know, happening and happening over and over again. It's not good, not a good one at all. I'll see you shortly. Hey, welcome back, guys. Still, the spirit of you know structures, buildings, you know properties around the world. They are built with you know creativity, high and serious level of creativity at this moment. You know, begin to see different things that you can never just put together. You see, the people are thinking out of the box creating something very sophisticated and in the process of all this they put uh, all measures to check do the due diligence and make sure that they're putting up you know structures that will be long lasting projects that will not come back to be a disaster but in this part of the world are we faced with the same thing and so in the course of this video i'll be mentioning some things that i feel are uh, responsible for people's actions or act in this direction project developers will go ahead and you know make more clear of yourselves and creativity and intelligence because that's how i will put it can you imagine a building collapsing under construction that's far beyond manageable at all but then we need to keep sensitizing ourselves in the hope that things will get much more better with time if this is the first time you've seen this channel, please do want to subscribe. If you subscribe to them, it's so free, we don't charge for it <laughs> at all. Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, we need that so much right now. It helps the video to perform greatly. Please use the comment section. Let's talk about all of these things. Let's go straight into it now. Hey, y'all, folks. Lagos is a place where, you know, all the craziest things of this world, you can find it here, you know. You name it. Let's talk about buildings right now. You know, buildings where you feel like this house is about to bend and, <laughs> and just collapse. You see, it's still in use. Still in use. Houses with one side apart falling. You know, it's supposed to be condemned and probably broken down and another structure erected on it. And you still see places like that actively in use. Like, People still come in for rentage or buying, leasing, whatever it is. And when you listen to the amount you'll be, you know, <laughs> calling for you to pay, you'll be like, what? You guys, welcome back to another one on Jolly. We're talking about the, you know, story building, 21 story building at a Koyi that, you know, collapsed recently. The owner of the structure was in it. The developer was in a lot of innocent lives, you know, from different sphere of life. Officials, uh, government officials were there, you know, workers of different, you know, when you have to finish the house, plumbing work, electrical work, you know. Imagine, imagine all the, the numbers of workers that would be there, even investors that just, you know, branching by. Let's, let, let me see what is in this, you know. Uh, facility something that I can buy or some, something like that even agents like youtubers you know that's into properties that want to just showcase okay this is something that is going on here whoever wants to come and buy you know come and buy through me so you know I'm just selling and stuff like that this you know life's just gone like that life's gone like that that's 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 tragic something not good at all 
So like I said earlier, you know, RIP to those who lost their lives. These are the things that we see, we see in the news, we talk about for a few while, you know, few times and after a while, you know, just forget about it. You just move on like that. That culture is not a good one. It's not a cool one at all. And then the image that we create, the people handling properties in this part of the world are not doing the due diligence. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not cool enough. It's not cool enough, you know. Even at the spots, we have three buildings there, you know, one demolished, but a desert demolished, collapsed the way it did. The other two, in you know, a bad market, too. <laughs> the one wants to, you know, uh, patronize such an arena. It's like having, you know, airline that's one of the plane crashed recently, and you are saying we still have some more planes. The, the same servicing, the same maintenance they're doing, you know, using for your craft that made one to, you know, go bad will affect the rest. That's what people will assume. And that's bad market for the rest of all that you have, you know. In cases like that, a lot of uh, companies change their names and all of that just to try and, you know, buckle up. What has happened has happened. And this is not a cool one at all, at all. And it starts with, you know, uh, should I say greed? Should I say greed? Because yes, we know that everybody wants to be in business. Everybody wants to. Uh, the reason why you want to do business at all is profit making. You want to make as much as you know the profit that you want that you can make in that business. But, but why try to put yourself in a scenario where you will lose it all at the end of the day? Because you're trying to make maximum profit. But at the end of the day, you lose it all because the building that we're talking, like building we're talking about now. You're trying to make maximum profit, you know, uh, no proper structure that will carry the whole, you know, building, the design and the level at which it was going to. How can a 15-story building, something that is marked for 15-story building, go 21 and still go in? 21. That, that difference is so much and people are complaining about the, pro the, 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 the quality of the materials used. If the material is not good, even if it was to be, if it were to be 15, you know, story building, it will still have, you know, collapsed because the materials were not standard, were not good. Is that still business? Is that not greed? You tell me. That's one of my honest opinion about, you know, property developers, you know, greed that I want to maximize my profit in the expense of the lives that, you know, you put in danger. Foundation should be solid enough to carry what you put on it. If not, it's going to sink. That's, that's a simple physics. You get it? So when you don't have strong materials these iron rods are rusty and expanding you know they are weak and cannot carry the whole of the structure you're putting on it it's simple it will crumble it will just fall flat down like that that's been said let's talk about that you know the magu magu side of it the side where because i have influence you know with the people of the authority i'm sitting in the corridor of power so i can use my influence to do or not do you know when you, there's a standard for a lot of things and the standard is for safety measures it's for us to save our lives imagine what happened the owner of that place didn't plan for himself to be there when whatever that happened happened he would have been so selfish enough to you know move out of the place when it happened if he knew it was going to happen that's what we're talking about because you know someone in you know in the place of authority they closed that place twice what kind of you know leverage do you have to have that place open not once twice i mean something is obviously wrong with the structure of the place so i guess there's a lot to do about i know someone here please help me override hmm. do the right things especially with properties secure people's life i'm of the opinion that if that building did not collapse the way it did or at the time that it did it twist collapse eventually and that might even be worse or bad because we have you know properties and a lot of people in the building that will just go down like that we watched the 9 11 you know the attack at the you know, us and we saw what happened 
we saw the crashing of the airplane into the building and we saw that it was just at the level where there was the impact the building was a standing firm this one went down all flat like that you should know that something is wrong something is wrong government officials that were for any little you know any reason just by court the normal and due process should not be allowed to run such practices should be condemned outrightly now they are running some investigations and we don't know you know the outcome they said they wanted to do it you know behind the cameras and all that what for what for just so that a lot of uh obvious you know involvement of officials will not be made open and dieted is that is that is that what it is so we're already seeing people trying to cover their heads here and there because of the investigations this is not supposed to be we should all be doing our jobs adequately we should you know stand for something you know just stand for something you know that's of quality that is of essence of value and that will you know speak well of us but in this part of the world you know it's all misplaced priorities you should see house and see the materials they're using for it and say yes I'm, i don't mind spending for this house because of the good materials they're using for you know, that they use for this uh, building and you just love it you know that there is, you are paying for the you know expensive things something that would last you're using inferior things materials and then still charging people so much that's not a cool one at all and then the solution to all of this is obvious to the to the you know problem itself is is the people thing is you know it's just ourselves stop being so greedy do business have your gains moderately stop influence from the government you know you have someone who knows someone and you can by court the due process stop that already there's no way we'll talk about all of these things that will not mention the government but then i used to say something i say that you know uh, the people in the government are representation of the society if the society has you know good people then the representative which are the government you know will be good so if we have corrupt society then we have corrupt leaders <laughs> that's that's just it ah uh, join me in the comment section because this will not end i can keep just going and going and pointing on you know pointing at different things that are going on wrongly and what we probably should have done to you know not make them go that way please engage me in the comment section below let's talk about all of these things i'll be able to attend to everyone who talks about it guys thank you for sticking to this video if you're watching me that means you are here all time long thank you so much i really appreciate if the first time of seeing this channel do want to subscribe if you've been watching if not hit the like button please do that it helps the video to perform well i want that so much right now i'll see you on my next one before then keep fit be good and be honest don't be too greedy eh? <laughs> we all make it and it's good to make it the right way goodbye guys